Hello, my name is Oliver Rodriguez, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a DevOps tool chain with IBM Cloud. The first thing we're going to be doing is creating a Git repo. After that, we're going to be creating the actual tool chain. This tool chain will allow us to have cool tool integrations such as um, a DevOps pipeline and the Orion Web IDE. Um, so once we have this tool chain in place, then we can actually start configuring our DevOps pipeline. And this pipeline will allow us to build our project and then deploy it into IBM Cloud automatically after every uh, push to the Git repo. Um, and then after we set up the pipeline, then we can actually uh, go into pushing the code. And so I'm going to be showing you two different ways on how to do that. And I'll leave it up to you to, to decide on how you would prefer to do it. And with that being said, let's jump right in. We're going to be starting in the GitLab area of IBM Cloud, and this is where all your Git repos are hosted. So to get here, you can go to git.ng.bluemix.net, and uh, there'll be a, a link to this in the description uh, below. So um, if you already have an existing Git repo, it should be listed under the Your Projects here on the uh, main page. However, if you don't, uh, I'll be showing you how to create a new project. So you can find the new project button on the right side. Go ahead and click on that. And uh, so I'll be given this uh, simple name like a uh, test project. And then uh, you can even add a description if you'd like. Uh, test project, please ignore. All right, and so by default, the repos are private. However, you can uh, change this if you wish. I'll leave it private for now, and then we'll just create project. All right, so the repo is empty when you first create it. Um, let's go ahead and just add a readme. And so the reason that I created the readme was because later on in the DevOps pipeline, um, uh, it's required that your repo has a branch um, and creating that file uh, creates a master branch for us uh, pretty easily. So we'll leave it, we'll leave it at that. And uh, so to actually access your repo locally to clone it, uh, you're going to need to create uh, one of two things. You're either going to need an SSH key or a personal access token. And that really depends on what protocol you're using to clone the repo. So if you use SSH, you'll need the SSH key, of course. However, if you use HTTPS, um, you can see here by this little uh, note here, uh, to, you need to create a personal access token on your account to pull or push via HTTPS. So um, I'll be choosing to uh, to clone this applic to clone this repo and push using HTTPS. So I'll need to create a personal access token. So to do that, we can click on the drop down at the top right, go to settings, and on the left side, look for access tokens. If you do want to use SSH, you can just go to the SSH keys section and follow the instructions there on how to do that. So I'm going to click on the access tokens. And so from here, you can give your token a name and even an expiration date. Um, you can also revoke uh, existing keys, as I'm going to do now. So I can delete the old key. And then now I'm just going to recreate it. So we can name it whatever you'd like. Um, if you leave the expires at empty, it'll um, persist forever. And then uh, you can uh, give it a scope. So I'm going to give the scope um, pretty much, I'm going to give this uh, key pretty much full access to the GitLab instance here so that um, I won't have any issues with permissions. Um, so I have full access there. So we'll just create the personal access token. And so right off the bat, it's displayed to you um, when you create it. And this is the only time it'll be displayed. So make sure you do copy this and, um, and you keep it somewhere in a Word doc where you can easily access it. Because once you close it out here, and you'll never be able to access it again. All right, so uh, in a Word doc here, I'm going to paste that in. And we'll be using that here in a second. So from here, I'm going to click on the IBM Cloud at the top left. And this will bring me back to my projects. I'm going to click on the newest project. It should be at the very top of that list. I'll show you how to clone this locally. If, you're, if you want to use the uh, browser-based method of, 
of developing your application using the Orion Web IDE. You don't have to do this part. You can skip ahead till, uh, to the toolchain creation section. Uh, this is only if you're going to be developing locally. So we're going to go to this drop down here, select HTTPS, and go ahead and copy the project's uh, address there. And uh, so in, an, in a Word doc, I'm going to go ahead and paste the um, git address here. And so you can see on line four, I have this um, template uh, address here for a, uh, for a project. And this really just shows you where you need to add the token so you can authenticate with, um, with GitLab. Um, so if I'm following the templates, all I have to do is add OAuth2 colon and then just copy and paste the um, the access token and then after that you add the at symbol so it's https colon forward slash forward slash oauth2 colon your access token at whoops at and then git.ng.bluemix and then blah 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 the rest of your um, git repo path All right, so now that's done. Uh, we just have to add the git clone command. And so everything on line six is, is the command needed to clone the repo locally. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. I'm gonna go to my terminal and I'm just gonna paste that in and run the command. As you can see, it's cloned successfully. Um, and had no issues with, with authentication.